Good morning. This Thursday, we come to Nahum. Nahu? Nahum. This is the Lord's pronouncement against Nineveh after the generation of Jonah, when they had slid into full-flowered wickedness. Here's what he says in 114. The Lord has issued a command concerning you. Your name will no longer be perpetuated. I will cut off idol and image from the house of your gods. I will prepare your grave, for you are contemptible. And three one, woe to the bloody city, completely full of lies and pillage. We can continue three nineteen. There is no relief for your breakdown. Your wound is incurable. Ooh, may we never get to the point where our wound is incurable and there's no turning back. But in the midst of this gloomy little book, there is a hint of grace. 115. Behold, on the mountains, the feet of him who brings good news and announces peace. Sounds a lot like a verse from Isaiah who says exactly the same thing, except he says, how beautiful on the mountain are those feet. It's a verse that Paul quotes in Romans 10, 14 and 15. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how will they believe in him on whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? And how will they preach unless they are sent? Just as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. And right before this passage in Romans is chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, which we have underlined in our Bibles. If you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. Nahum warns us, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and the Lord will by no means leave the guilty unpunished. That is a sobering thought, but the good news is that Jesus bore that guilt and punishment on himself on the cross. Whoever believes in him will be saved. Praise the Lord.